So we have this range of settings. The first one is autoplay. You can choose to allow it to start the moment the page loads, or you can choose to make it start only when they press play. You can automatically buffer or not. Now I usually say false to automatically buffering. I don't want to download this data unless somebody actually wants to see it. And what happens is auto buffering starts downloading it as soon as the page loads, even if they don't click on this. So I don't do that. Pop-up box, both true or false. We're going to set this to true. I usually have it set to false, but I want you to see what it looks like when we have it set to true. Enable full screen mode, again, is either true or false. And that that's this button right here. If you enable full screen mode, somebody clicks on that button, it will expand to fill their screen. And the same thing is true here for, with fit scaling. If right now it's set to false, which means if my screen size and ra aspect ratio is different than the video's aspect ratio, it will distort the video to fill the screen. Well, we don't want that to be the case. We actually want it to scale. So if it's a HD video, long and narrow, and I have a standard monitor size, what will happen is you'll see a black bar on the top and at the bottom of the video when the monitor when it's playing in this monitor, but it will stretch the full size of the monitor, but it won't distort it. So we'll have that set to true. Now, allow user uploads means that somebody can go ahead and download this thing if they want, and then there would be a little download link there. We are not going to do that, so we're going to say false. Enable post thumbnail is a feature that does not work for us in Thesis because Thesis uses its own system for developing the post thumbnail, so we can go ahead and leave that to false. And since we're not using an old version of this on the site, we can set this to false as well. And then we have our default video size. Now, you know, in this case, well, let's go ahead and save those changes for a second. And let's say that we wanted, we want to have our video fill up the, fill up the width of the content section of the page. If we go to our um, thesis design options and look at how wide we set that, that'll give us a little bit of help here. I think I set it at 600, but I just want to make sure. On Okay, there we go. So then, oh, 650 and 250 is how I have it set. So we'll make the video 650 pixels wide. So we'll go back down to our plugins. Oh, I'm sorry, down to our settings. FV WordPress Flow Player settings. And then... I hate autoplay. <laughs> this is set to autoplay. Uh, so if we made it 650, we need to figure out what our height would be. And if we assume that our videos are that 800 to 600 aspect ratio, which is the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, that's what this is here, 320 to 240. Now, you could actually just leave this as it is, or you could change it. Actually, we could just change it to 640 by 480, and that's the same aspect ratio. If you put something, if you want to use a video with a different aspect ratio, which is what I'm going to show you next, then you need to customize that size in the next part of this lesson. And then these other things here, for example, you can, if you've got a commercial license, which I actually do have a commercial license of Flow Player. You could enter the commercial license key here, and you could substitute his Flow Player JavaScript for your commercial license version of the JavaScript. And then you would be able to customize the player to your heart's content. In the absence of that, if you're using the free version of Flow Player, which is bundled with this, you can still change your player colors by changing colors here. And so this is, that's essentially what these are, right? These are just colors 
that affect the player and the colors of the player. Now, if you have a commercial version, you know that you can radically alter the appearance of the player with that commercial version, but that's way beyond the scope of this conversation. So if we go ahead and hit Apply Changes, 